whole lot of Elvis going on. It's your box office news. Hello, I'm Daniel K. It's a big week and I put up the green screen again, although I didn't take the trouble to light it properly. Um, there are three new movies in the top ten this week. One of them, of course, is the big one and the rest are just movies. Um, well, that's not entirely true. Well, let's get into it. Um, so the number one movie from uh, the people at Warner Brothers and uh, Baz Luhrmann uh, is Elvis. Uh, probably the only director who could do the phenomenon of Elvis justice is Baz Luhrmann. I didn't see it myself because it looked like it was too crowded and, uh, you know, I'm not thrilled with Baz Luhrmann. <laughs> but I do admire his work from, you know, a standpoint of somebody whose work is admirable. Anyway, it made uh, 31 million bucks, which is great. That's fine for you, Baz. And um, I certainly hope Tom Hanks isn't as creepy as he looks. Uh, coming in at number four, speaking of creepy as he looks, from Universal Pictures, The Black Phone, starring Ethan Hawke in a rare villain role. Actually, it's not that rare. He just did a rare villain role in Moon Knight also. It's like he's actually becoming kind of um, an all-purpose villain. He must got a new agent or new advice from an old agent. Anyway, it made uh, $23 million, and uh, I dare say it's a lot closer to profitability than the Elvis movie, because it probably cost just about nothing to make. Uh, that came in at number four. Coming in at number seven, um, from anybody uh, might have distributed this, it's your guess as well as mine, a movie called Jug Jug Geo. Uh, it... Uh, made an estimated $725,000, and um, it's obviously one of those Bollywood things that's probably three hours long, and it looks like it's packed with songs and dancing. Uh, so, keep away. All right, that's your top ten. Now then, coming in at the very bottom of the chart, uh, a re-release of a movie called Distant. This is from Big World Pictures, and um, I don't know what to tell you about it. Uh, it came in at number 49. I made $233 on one screen. It's been out for six weeks as a re-release. I don't know anything about it before. Uh, it's foreign. And speaking of foreign things, coming in uh, from Kino Lorber at number 45 in its first week of release, Olga. Uh, apparently a documentary about uh, Olga Korienko, the Ukrainian gymnast. It made 342 bucks on one screen. Um, you'd think uh, the Ukraine would be a little more uh, noteworthy, but apparently not. So that's all Olga gets. <sighs> all right, that's it. Thank you for watching the box office news. I'll be back again next week, and I can hardly wait. Bye for now.